Hello, good morning. Respected faculties and students. My name is Shreyas Panchal and I am from KM Patel Institute of Physiotherapy, Karamsar. I hope you all are safe there. Uh, thank you, eFysiocon, for giving us this platform to elaborate our knowledge and skill in this pandemic. Okay, so uh, today I'm going to present about TheraBand exercises. So let's talk about it. Uh, today's seminar's objectives will be introduction, benefits, indication, how to use TheraBand, how to handle TheraBand, exercise dosages, outcome, limitation, review of literature, and various exercises. Now, uh, introduction. TheraBands are also known as TheraBand loops and resistance band. Uh, why they are called as TheraBand loop? Yes. So, uh, there are two types of TheraBand. First is loop, right? Why it is loop? Because there are no ends. No ends means loop. Now, the second one is open ended. Open ended means there are two ends. So, that's why it is called as TheraBands, TheraBand loops, and resistance band. Those are thick elastic bands that provides the way to strengthen the muscles, right? Previously, the importance of TheraBand were, uh, were like the uh, only strengthening purpose. But nowadays, there are so many uh, indications also available there. Uh, we'll see later on. TheraBands were created in early 90s from surgical tubing and first used in the rehabilitation of patients with atrophied muscles. TheraBand are nowadays latex as well as non-latex rubber are also available due to the latex allergy. Uh, total eight types of resistance bands according to the different color codings are available in the market. So let's see first latex and non-latex material band. Uh, a latex is one kind of allergetic allergetic product. Uh, a latex allergy is characterized by a reaction to certain proteins found in natural rubber latex, ranging from sneezing to anaphylaxis. So, due to this latex energy, they have made up of non-latex material therabands, right? Patients should always be asked about potential latex allergies prior to using the elastic resistance band and tubing. Not only using, before referring, because as we are physiotherapists, we are referring to therabands, right? So, we have to take proper history and proper allergic uh, latex allergy history before the referee. Latex free TheraBand resistance gives the same equality and trusted resistance progression of TheraBand latex band. Okay, now the third one is elastic versus isotonic resistance band. Why to choose elastic resistance band? instead of weight cuff or any sandbag or dumbbell. Because one study has done that uh, both elastic and isotonic resistance exhibit the similar strength curve, means both the resistance training mimic to each other, right? So uh, there is no difference. So we can go with the elastic band also. Powder versus no powder. What is powder here? Yeah. Uh, in all TheraBand, we can see there is a shiny stickiness of the TheraBand, right? So what is the stickiness? It is a food grade oil, which is non-toxic powder, which is in this TheraBand. So it will give the natural stickiness of the TheraBand. Yes. Uh, now the important aspect of the TheraBand, because in this sandbag or in the any weight cuff, uh, there is no point of force we have to mention, right? Because there is an elastic property. This is an elastic property. So, force is basically resistance. Force is depend on three main factors. First, elastic coefficient, amount of elastic material, cross-section of area, right? The more the thickness, more the resistance, right? So, amount of elastic material, the percent change in length of bands. Okay. So, let, let's see. This is TheraBand. 
this will give produce force which is lever arm lever arm depend on the exercise uh, in here uh, shoulder abduction is shown so lever arm is lever arm is this right and the force angle is between uh, theraband and the lever arm right now let's move on to benefits therabands are much lighter and portable than free weights and it cost fraction of what weight cost right because it is a simple rubber band so it not cost much more than weight cost right uh, bands are light in weight so the risk of injury associated with the heavy weight is eliminated the increased tension help to gaining coordination as well as balance yes i have talked to you before uh, there is no role there is no role of uh, theraband only in weight uh, uh, strengthening purpose right there is also important of benefit of theraband in gaining coordination balance and so on right it is easy to use at any place indications indications are in resistance training in resistance training we can do postural impairments right postural trainings motor functional impairments muscle performance training strengthening exercise balance training cardio training functional and sport specific training okay now the important aspect of the topic is this right purchasing and referring criteria right uh, as we know we are going to refer the theraband to our patients as well as any colleagues right so what are the criteria the three criteria first material of theraband length of theraband and the color coding of the theraband material we have discussed earlier the latex and non latex material if the patient or colleague is having latex allergy so we refer them non latex material theraband this is simple right but the second one is length of theraband so there are so many availability of the length of theraband but let's talk about closed loop first this is closed loop theraband right closed loop theraband the theraband closed loop is fixed in length how much it is 30 cm and or 12 inch 12 inch is or 30 cm the length of this closed loop theraband are 12 inch and 30 cm right but in the open end open end it depends on the height right for example uh, if i am uh, for example uh, i am i am 5 feet 8 inch right so i will prefer 5 feet theraband or else 6 feet theraband in between that right uh, availability of the length of theraband in open loom are from 4 inches to 15 inches right so there is a wide range of availability is available you can search on amazon or any online uh, online so you can find up this uh, this kind of uh, length of therabands now the color coding of theraband this point is very much important because now each and every company is producing their different different therabands uh, and the color codings and the resistance of the theraband are differ to each and every company so we have to refer the company product detail before purchasing the criteria right so let's see first ideal ideal theraband uh, resistance scale and the availability of the resistance so here we can see the from beginner to advanced no one knows that there is a tan theraband tan is available because the theraband tan is very much lighter right uh, very much lighter means uh, uh, less than 3 pounds right so no one is using or no one is knowing about that but uh, it is available theraband tan yellow red green blue black silver and gold these are the various availability of the therabands according to that uh, there are weight in pounds right weight in pounds why uh, because uh, these are the ideal theraband the ideal theraband company 
uh, leaflet. It, it is from Theraband uh, leaflet, right? So it is in pound. Uh, you can also convert into the kilograms as well as to uh, give some uh, patients, uh, give advice to any patients about the Theraband. <coughs> so, uh, so these are the ideal one. Now let's see the uh okay mm -hmm. yes uh as i have shown you my theraband i have this company theraband right so before purchasing what i have referred what i have go through with first point is availability of the color First, there are six available colors in there. Second is the pound. Yes, weights. First, you can see from lighter to heavy, the weights are from four pounds to more than 45 pounds. Right? This is the this differs from company to company. Please keep it in your mind. Right. This is the second point. And the third point is. You, you have to see the product detail product detail uh, reliable quality you can see uh, with rubber latex material you are sure that your band would surpass all quality and reliability tests whether it's to stand up to the most severe workout or the longevity of the product itself yes this is very important rubber latex material right please read the uh, yes uh, this is also important 12 inch length two inch width color codes and six additional labels right so before purchasing you have to read each and every criteria of the therapy Now let's go to the PPT. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. I hope you all understand till now. Uh, now let's go to the usage of TheraBand. How to use TheraBand? Always consult your physiotherapist, right? We are physiotherapists. So we have uh, Thera TheraBand, we have to refer, right? Because we know we are like exercise scientists, right? A physiotherapist has to refer because we know the each and every exercises as well as the biomechanics of the exercises. So always consult your physiotherapist before beginning an TheraBand exercise program. Do all the exercise with correct posture of the body, right? Choose the right TheraBand. Find the stationary point from which to secure a therapy. Keep away from your sharp object to protect it. Right? Therapy should not touch any sharp objects. Otherwise, it will tear. Right? If it will tear, you cannot use it. Go slow with your therapy. Do not overstretch the therapy more than 100%. Yes. This is very much important point again. Let's see the resistance in kilogram and percent elongation chart. Right. So uh, you can see the, uh, the percent elongation is not only from 25% to 100%. It is till to 50%. Right. Theraband can elongate till to 50%. But this is just a re, uh, research criteria, right? For the therapeutic purpose, we cannot go beyond more than 100% elongation. Why? Because the chances of tear or chances of damage to that part will increase, right? Uh, so please note this don't stretch, overstretch the theraband more than 100% of the elongation, okay? According to the color coding, uh, the resistance and in kilogram is available now. <clears throat>
how to handle therabands handling is important why because slipping of the theraband is also there so it will damage the part and uh, as i have talked to you earlier there is a natural stickiness of the theraband is there so it will peel off the skin also if you do if you do not care carefully used it okay so how to handle theraband always examine your band before it use if any wear and tear and nicks are also available uh, you can see so you have to discharge discard that theraband and use different theraband instead of using that tear theraband right check routinely for evidence of wear of the band at connection point and replace the band if evidence is found for elastic band it should be securely attached to your hand foot before use to avoid slipping or possible injury right so that's why the double wrapping concept uh, is found double wrapping means not single wrap you have to wrap twice so it will improve your strength and it, it will secure your band never exercise with the band unless it is secured properly so now this is a first grip wrap like this you have to double wrap right double wrap will improve your strength the second is palm wrap palm wrap is if the theramin is longer right so you have to wrap from both the side so you can do simple supination pronations and the hold the theraband with both the ends this is euro wrap euro wrap is simple as that but the importance of the euro wrap is to improve rotation of the uh, improve resistance in the rotational movements right for example i i want to do supination of the my forearm right so if i want to do supination so resistance will theraband will pull my hand towards pronation right so what what will i do i will loop the theraband around the thumb and hold it this way so it will resist my supination okay now i want to do pronation so what will i do same thing i will loop around the thumb and hold it this way and i will do pronation so it will resist my pronation simple so according to the our movement we have to change our grip pat grip patterns now a uh, short loop length if we have to do low limb exercise and we, if we don't have closed loop resistance bands so what we can do we can tie up or we can knot it like this a short loop length and long loop length short loop length we do square knot and the uh, long loop length we do simple knotting method like we do in a routine right the important aspect of fusing the theraband is correct axis right the origin of the theraband should be in same or straight direction of the movement right it should not be in opposite or diagonal way diagonal line of the axis so this is the straight line and it is correct otherwise the both left and right are incorrect now exercise dosages uh it is very important to determine the appropriate level of exercise dosages the number of repetition and the level of resistance these two thing is important what number of re repetitions and level of resistance number of repetition means resistance maximum we know 10 rm and 1 rm are the number of repetition and the level of resistance is fine right in general we use 1 rm and 10 rm for the uh, for checking the strength of the muscles right but the theraband has a different criteria choose the band color that allow the individual to complete 8 to 12 repetition per set to the point of fatigue right it is called as multiple repetition maximum mrm or number of repetition that can be completed at one time 
no more or no less. It is known as multiple repetition. Yes. Uh, one study has done that uh, Dr. Juan Colado has done the rating of perceived excursion due to the uh, theraband exercises. And they have found the new resistance inputs intensity scale for exercise means rise, which help individual to identify the excursion from easy to maximal while exercising with theraband resistance bands. Using this scale, yes, you can see this scale. Uh, let me show you practically. Yes, this is a green resistance band. This is very simple. Yes, I can do it easily. I can do it easily. Yes, so it is easy for me. So first one is easy, right? But let me do it with black one. Yes, let's do the same. Oh, it is tough, right? So it is maximum for me, right? According to everyone, there is a different different criteria. Sometimes like is easy for someone else who is doing regular gyming and uh, daily exercises. So it is easy for them also, right? So this criteria, uh, this scale is very important. Outcomes, outcomes are simple. Increase strength, increase power, decrease pain, improve balance and proportion, improve posture, prevent fall, improve gait, increase grip, grip strength, improve cardiovascular fitness, decrease fun, uh, blood pressure, decrease disability, and improve function. Limitations. Yes, we all know uh, there are advantages as well as disadvantages also. So limitation of the TheraBand are the resistance, resistance band may easily break or become worn. Like this. Uh, let me show you. Yes. This is a TheraBand. If I am stretching it, it will return it back. Right? But you can see, I hope you can see, uh, there is a white spot here at the elongation area. Yes. So there is a worn. This TheraBand rubber will become worn after repeated using of it. Repeated using of TheraBand will become worn, worn of the TheraBand. Injury may result if you do not use your TheraBand properly. Improper selection of TheraBand will lead to damage to the part. It has variable tension. Right. For example, if I want to do shoulder flexion, so initial range there is no resistance. In mid middle range there is a minimal resistance, and in the end range there is a maximal resistance. So there is a variable tension and resistance is there in the whole range of motion. The lack of compatibility is there. Okay. So let's see some reviews. Uh, Christopher J. Hughes, uh, they did a study on resistance properties of TheraBand tubing during shoulder abduction exercise. And they concluded that TheraBand tubing provide linear resistance during shoulder abduction, but the resisting torque provided by the tubing mimics isotonic exercises. Right? As I have talked earlier, that uh, both isotonic resistance and the TheraBand both mimic to each other, right? So this is the review. The second is uh, effect of TheraBand resistance assist gait training in stroke patient. Uh, they have concluded that the use of TheraBand elastic resistance assist gait training contribute to faster recovery as compared to the control group. Functionally patient showed improvement as compared to conventional therapy, right? So there are improvements also. So let's see. How they used? There are two types. Sorry, yes. You can see there are one type of theraband looping and the second type of theraband looping. The in here, first they have ankle. They have support the foot only. No ankle. There is no ankle support. So it will provide dorsiflexion of the foot, right? And here, the, the second is around the knee it will prevent the knee buckling right 
but here they use the second theraband at the ankle joint because to prevent eversion and inversion movement of the joints right so uh, by this you can do the improvement of the gait in the stroke patient okay now let's see some band exercises uh, with this band small band we can do whole body exercises so you can i hope you can see all these exercises these are all are simple exercises uh, yes see shoulder training waist training stretching exercise leg training tensile training squat training leg loading horizontal bar bar boost barbell loading anything leg press you can do all exercises these all are reference of my exercises before ending my seminar i want to show you one video yes you can see okay uh, so at the end of seminar I want to tell you everyone that please stay home stay safe and be positive right thank you thank you so much <laughs>